With artificial intelligence on the rise, it's no surprise to anyone that it's starting to make its way into the creative world. Today, we're gonna be taking a look at what I believe is gonna be one of the first effects that we're gonna start seeing everywhere in music videos. The effect I'm talking about is being able to change your clothes in the AI. For those of you who are new to the channel, I hope you're having an amazing day and I hope after this video it can get even better. My name is Mark Jonathan Romero. I'm a creative guru. I do these kind of videos where I explain these effects. So if you like this kind of stuff and you want the basics as well as the new for pros, for beginners alike, hit that subscribe, hit a like, and let me know what you want in the comments. Anyway, we're gonna get right into this effect. So this effect is going to take place in Adobe Premiere Pro and Photoshop the beta version. So first of all, we cannot start doing this tutorial without having a base video. So grab your iPhone or grab a camera so that you can get this base video shot. For me, I did it with this audio that says, the shoes match the belt, the bat match the shirt, because I felt that it was a good way to change the clothes and I saw it on Instagram. I'm gonna put the link right here. Shout out to It's Maria XO. That's her Instagram. Uh, I saw this and it completely inspired me to do this. So you have Photoshop, you have Premiere Pro. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is export the video that you made on your own as PNG sequence. You can export it as a JPEG as well, but I recommend the PNG. PNGs save more of the colors. JPEG is a compressed file. So save it as a PNG in a new folder. Name the folder, something catchy, something that's quick. I put mine as changer because I knew my clothes were gonna be changing. So what's gonna happen here? Technical difficulties, fellas. The light went out behind me, so there's gonna be a cable in there. It's all good though. The way you're gonna export it as a PNG sequence is by hitting Control M, being where it says A264, and then changing that to PNG. What that's gonna do is it's gonna export every frame individually so that you can alter them. It's gonna give us the numbers of all the frames, which is gonna be very useful for when we're done editing them and we wanna export them again. With these new photos, take them into the Photoshop beta version. Let's use the generative fill tool. So make a selection around whichever part you wanna change. I started off changing some of the background. For me, I use a generative fill tool to just select a light behind me. I selected different parts of my background and just change them. I put a bulldog in there. You can get really creative with this. For me, I even use uh, some of my own assets. So I have scribbles, I have animated uh, background. You're going to wanna do this for all of the frames that you would like to be edited. Generate uh, your background. For me, I had this pause in the middle because there's a part where the music stops. So in this case, you don't want there to be a pause in your image sequence where you don't have any file saved. What you're gonna wanna do is copy and paste the unedited one into your new folder and just change the name. This way, you're gonna have the same look it's gonna be the same frame. They're just not gonna be edited or else it's gonna go and it's just gonna skip that area. We don't want that happening. Keep on importing these photos in and edit around the side. Uh, I was able to do it pretty quickly because I was able to click the frame beforehand. So it said finish and then it gave me my number and then all I had to do is change, bump it up one number, change the number at the end. So that way I was able to really easily organize it. I recommend that for you guys as well. It'll speed up the process a little bit more. It didn't take seven hours and 50 minutes but it did take four hours and 39 minutes. The, the lap underneath, if we can see that, if you guys can see that. It took around four hours, 36 minutes. If you're valuing your time at $20 per hour, uh, let's call it a hundred bucks, round it up to five hours. So if you're gonna be doing this for anybody, uh, make sure you know what's, what it's worth and you count the cost before you offer it. After you have all of your files done, import them back into Premiere Pro. Go to the folder that has all of the frames, click the very first frame and select image sequence. This setting to make an image sequence might not pop up right away. Hit more details and it's gonna be able to show you that image sequence option. So family, once that's done, it should look crisp, it should look clean. Some of you might be thinking, and wait, mine doesn't match up with the original audio. Mine is going faster or slower than it was before. For me, this happened. No need to worry though. Make sure you just select your image sequence, hit speed slash duration, and then instead of slow mowing it by a percentage, just make an exact time of how long the video was. For my video, it was six seconds and 16 hundredth of a second. So I just put that in, it matched perfectly, matched very well. I just slid that over the audio from before, and there we have it. That was my effect. If you're going to be doing this in a bigger project between multiple clips, maybe you have a music video of some sort, I wish you 
the best. Your client is gonna absolutely love this one. For me, I just put some text on the top for my own font. It was my um my handwriting font. You guys can get that for free on my website. I just put that up for free. I'm I'm very interested to see where all the AI goes and if there's anything more and more effects that we could do with it, I'll make sure to let you guys know right away. I want to thank you guys sincerely for coming to the channel. I'm very grateful that you stopped by and that you watched this video. May the Lord the God of Israel bless all of you guys. Hallelujah. Thank you guys. Have a good one. All right.